Hey guys, it's Andy here, and today we are going to be testing this stuff. Dielectric tune-up grease, and we're going to be building this cell. I'm filming the intro after building this thing, so anyways, bear with me. Here's my core. I've uh, dipped it in baking soda and water, and this time it turned out all white. So, it's obviously oxidized. I mean... If it wasn't, it would look like silver. And so this one tiny little spot didn't oxidize for some reason, but the rest of it is. So we'll just use it anyways. The um, ends didn't oxidize too well. That one did, but the other end uh, didn't for some reason, which I don't know why, but it's not a big deal. And we're going to coat this in my... Uh, dielectric tune-up grease and we'll just wrap it wrap it in a bit of toilet paper um, just to protect it from the stru crystal structure initially and see what we get. We have it now coated in toilet paper and dielectric grease as you can see. So, um, I think I have it saturated enough that there won't be a problem with uh, you know, conductivity between the two. I know I've, I've seen other videos of people doing this and they mention that, so I tried to get it as saturated as possible. So, anyways, we'll uh, fill it up with uh, salt now and uh, see how she goes. With uh, John's uh, crystal composition, what I usually do is just throw it down and then just dab water in and then add a bit more since it seems to compact a lot once you get it wet so it's um a little bit different than the uh, laser saber crystal design so we'll uh do that and we'll see what we get all right let's see now oh jeez that's too much Oh, not a big deal. It'll slowly saturate, and I um, used up the last of my uh, John Crystal Cell, so I'm just going to leave it like this and see how well it performs. <laughs> oh. It'll slowly saturate anyway, so not a big deal. Alright, so we'll just... Push it down like that, and then we take my, um, you can see I used it a lot. This is my little uh, funnel slash um, compactor. And we just put like this, and just, just hammer it in. Just like that. Oh, not a big deal. So that's it. That's, that's, how, I, uh, that's how I build a cell. And I don't think I've ever shown a full process of building one before. Anyways, let's see what the voltage is. Okay, around 1.3 volts. That's, um, you know, I was expecting 1 volt, but maybe the dielectric helps that. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean that it's bypassed the uh, dielectric and the oxidation. So. Well, makes it hard. Let's see, so we're at 1.3 volts, and let's see what our current draw is. Yeah, 2 milliamps. Alright, well, whatever. It should be at 40 milliamps, but it's at 2. I would have liked to have seen 10, but, you know, that's what experimentation is all about. And, you can see it there, and then bottom end, it's all exposed. I didn't put any uh, nickel in there, which, you know, not a big deal. Um, I didn't really see any results with the nickel that, you know, really justified um, all the effort took to put it into here. So, oh well, maybe like 0.5 milliamps. Oh well. When it gets fully saturated, it'll go back up a bit. Compressing it usually puts up the current, so let's see what we got. Uh, 2.5. 
milliamps. Well, I mean, whatever. It's it's pretty low, but maybe that's the dielectric working. And it's kind of odd. It's completely contrary to what I did last time. I oxidized it, um, put it together without the dielectric, and I was getting 1 volt instead of 1.3, and I was getting my 40 to 50 milliamps. Now I'm getting the exact opposite. I'm getting my 1.3 volts, but I'm only getting 3 milliamps, so... I mean, that's, that's really strange, but maybe that's the uh, dielectric at work. Um, you know, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to conclude with that, because, I don't know, maybe my oxidation just wasn't right this time, because I've really let, let it sit for a long time last time when I was oxidizing it. I'm only getting 1.2 milliamps right now. So, I don't know, I'll keep an eye on the cell, but whatever, dielectric, um, toilet paper, maybe I'll just try without toilet paper next time, but I don't think that'll really make a difference. It hasn't turned green yet, either, that's strange. Maybe my crystal composition has gone bad, maybe I just didn't, hmm. Yeah, it was probably that, because I had that lying around for a while, so maybe it wasn't the proper mixture. So I'll, I'll try again later and uh, see how that works, but anyways, that's my initial result. 1.3 volts and 3 milliamps. Um, should be um, 40 or 50 milliamps, but you know what we're trying to do is stop the corrosion of the magnesium core, or slow it down to be more precise. And, uh, I mean, hey, if that's what we, uh, what happens when you do that, then whatever, you know? And you just have to, uh, keep experimenting and, uh, see what you get, right? So, anyways, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.